Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsor review. So today we're back in the car, and again, it's cold as hell outside, but I gotta do these reviews. I said I was gonna do them, I have to do them. So um, today I received a product from a company which I have done um, reviews in the past for, and are well known for um, vehicle diagnostic uh, tools. So today I have a product from a company called Foxwell. And this is the BT705 battery analyzer. Now, what is this for? Who is this for? Well, this is a product mostly for probably a mechanic or a person who wants to be a mechanic, a person that tinkers with their car, the person that wants to know what's wrong with their car. This is simply another tool to test another item in your car. So first, let me read some, some stuff right off the box here. So you know what it does. Let me take off my glasses here. So um, it, it, multiple vehicles applications. So you could use it on trucks, like trucks, uh, cars. Um, test, uh, test batteries rated from 100 to 2000 CCA, multiple battery types, multiple systems, CCA, BIC, CA, MCA. I mean, if you're a mechanic or a mechanic wanna be this, you know, this stuff means more to you than the regular person. Now the cool part is you could test the battery directly. You don't have to take it out of the car. The cables are long enough for, for, for it to plug in. So I'm gonna be doing that too. I'm gonna be putting it in. It detects bad cells. It's a quick and accurate report you know, right on the screen. It can test 12 and 24 volt batteries. It has an advanced alternator test, so you could also test your alternator, which is kind of cool. It has a quick starter analyst without um, turning off the ignition too, which um, in some cases, some cars have to have the ignition on or off to work, so either way it works. And of course, it's extremely easy to use with a large screen. The other cool part about this is that it has Bluetooth. So if you have a Bluetooth printer, um, you could connect this and print out your readings right to your printer. If, you know, I know a lot of people are like having papers in front of them to show them what was wrong with the battery, you know, give them a, a full analyst, you know, a full report of the battery. So we're just gonna do a quick unboxing of the Foxwell BT705 battery analyzer. Uh, so, I like the case. It's actually a pretty cool case, which I never received in one of these before. So, um, and here it is. So, we're just going to do a quick unboxing here. I'm going to just pull this stuff out. So, so this is what the case looks like. You have your analyzer right here. You have your manuals right here. You have your cables, which are attached already to the, to the uh, unit. Um, the unit is very rugged. It's not very heavy at all. What I do like, it seems like it's waterproof and, you know, dust proof and all kinds of proof. The buttons are easily, you know, to access. We're going to be, again, we're going to be trying those out. And here's the, the printer button. So you could, if you connect it to a printer, you press there and you get a printout. Um, so, like I said, here's the instructions. I, I try not to go through these um, unless I'm in trouble. But you get more information there. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go outside to the car. We're going to plug this in and see what kind of reading I get out of my battery. See if my battery's good, if it needs help, if my cells are bad. Uh, I think they're okay on this car, but we're gonna check it out anyways. Okay, so here we are outside the, the car. We open up the, the hood. Here's my battery. Um, you know, just wanna remove that from there. And what I generally like to do is, only to be uh, safe, is I would connect the negative first since um, the negative has no power. Let's plug in the negative first here, and then we'll go with the positive. And this should turn up, the unit should turn on right away. And there it is. So you already gave me a reading of 12.9, 12.7. Um, go into the menu here, and we do a battery test. Let's see how is this battery performing here press enter and this is a 12 volt system in your case you know you pick whichever one you have if you have a truck probably it'll be 24 this case is 12 so let's do a um, test and I'm actually out of the vehicle you could do this inside the vehicle like some BMWs do have the battery inside the car you you know be inside the car but I'm actually outside the vehicle here um, and it's the top post is not the side post it means that these things are on the top of the battery not on the side of the battery And I'm gonna say it's a regular, oh, well, let me see. Maybe it's a gel battery. No, I think this is a regular battery. So there are batteries that are, you know, gel batteries. So this is an AG battery, a, a, a battery. 
And I'm gonna say, let's see, what kind of battery is this here? It's a, oh, it's a CCA, so it's right there, see that? My case, CCA, so you gotta, again, get this information from your batteries before you go ahead and do the test. So, we're gonna do the test now, there is the CCA, and it is a 550 in my case, so, I'll make it a 550. CCA just like it says right there hit test and now it's testing um, so let's just take a minute or so uh, and the temperature is now below Celsius right now it might be actually mm, no it's not below Celsius yeah it could be because it's uh, 32 degrees that's one Celsius so it's below so let's do below Here's a general test right here. So it tells me that the battery is good. It's got, uh, you know, a good measured. It's rated at 550, it's measured at 342. So there it is. Pretty plain and simple. Now let's see what the second thing says here. So it gives you more detailed information. Again, this is probably more for like a person who's a mechanic that needs um, these uh, details. But in general, the battery is good and look how quick it tested the battery. Now, again, if you have a printer, you will press here and um, you, no, I'm not going to put the plate number. Um, you will press there and you can actually send this information to your printer. You have to be at least 10 meters from your printer. So if you're in a garage and you have a, a USB printer, you can print these results to the printer and give it to your client so your client can take with them. Um, let's see what other um, stuff they have here. So they have, of course, the view and print the test. And there is the test right there. So it keeps the last test that you did, right? So let's keep going down. Obviously the language, so you could change the language. Bluetooth, like I said before, um, a version number. So, um, so you can search for devices, you know. Now, keep in mind right now, I'm actually charging my phone with a car off because I, like a moron, I left the phone in there charging. Um, but probably the battery would have given me a pretty a better rating on it if I probably would have just unplugged the, the phone. So there's, there's no printers around that I could connect to this. So there you go, guys. Um, that is the Foxwell 70, BT705 battery analyzer. So guys, that's my quick review of the BT705 battery analyzer. As you can see, it's very easy to work, very easy to use. Anybody could do it. You know, if you're a person like me that likes to tinker with cars and you want to find out if you, if you think there's something wrong with the battery before you go ahead and go to AutoZone or whatever the hell it is they call out there, anywhere, um, and you think there's something wrong with the battery, you have a battery analyzer. You can analyze your own battery, check it, you know, print it out. You know and and you know have the information so that's actually really cool um i also want to thank the guys at foxwell for sending me this item for me to review i love all their products i mean what i like best is since i i'm into cars and i like tinkering with cars when i'm not at home doing videos on tech um i really like these gadgets because now i have a gadget that tells me this if there's something wrong with the battery of my car um without having me to go out to the store and buying a new battery to um you know to tell me that or i mean new battery and i don't need a new battery so i mean i guess this is mostly for a mechanic who has a shop and they want to have a a very economical way of telling their customers um there's something wrong with your battery before the the customer goes out and buys a new battery so you've been watching lg tv i am juan granos find me on instagram los granos find me on facebook los granos find me on twitter los granos find me on youtube los granos thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and leave a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Peace.